Hello, welcome back to my tiny house. I'm back home, uh, which you probably already know if you saw my last video, but if that wasn't your cup of tea, I'm here back with another sewing video, which is exciting. A while back, I got some fabric, which I planned to make the Pomona bands, which, because I thought that would be very comfortable and the colour would go quite well, and the colour was meant to be yellow, but when I when the fabric arrived it wasn't really yellow, it was like a mustard brownish colour. Um, luckily my neighbour did like the fabric, but for me it's like, if I make it I can't pair it with anything in my wardrobe so it probably will not be worn, which is kind of a waste and I don't want to waste. So yeah, so I kind of had to scratch off the yellow pants that I was very excited to be wearing and to be making. But then I went back home for two weeks to build things for my tiny house outside, you know, for my garden. If you haven't seen it, I'll put it up here if you want to watch it. If you don't want to watch it, it's fine too if you're here for the sewing videos because we're sewing again, which is very exciting. But when I went back home, my mum found some curtains that she had forgotten about. These curtains, they're 100% cotton and, as you can see, they're yellow. They're the yellow that I hoped the other fabric was. So, guess what I will be making this week? I will be making yellow bands. Even better is, I'm just upcycling something that would otherwise not be used and be basically a waste. I mean, she doesn't, she won't go and throw it away because it's perfectly good fabric. But you know, now I'm gonna make a perfectly good pair of pants out of it, which I'm very excited about. Like I've already in my head made up multiple outfits with a, with it, even though it, it doesn't exist yet. Because I'm very excited. I'm mostly excited because it's gonna be like a elastic waist pants, which probably is going to mean that it's very comfortable. And I'm at the moment. I just, I only want to wear comfortable clothing. I'm so done with being uncomfortable and have wearing like jeans and stuff that is tight. I just want to be comfortable. So yeah, I'm gonna make a moon events out of these curtains and I'm very excited, as you can tell. So after we cut out the pattern pieces, it's time to work on the pockets. We basically iron with a centimeter sew allowance inwards and then place it on the bands. And once the pockets are in place, it's time to sew the pants together. We start off by putting them right side together and then sew both the back side and the front side together. And you could basically leave it at this, but the uh, instructions tell you to sew an edge stitch and a second stitch. And I did choose to do it because I want to make more quality pieces and more professional looking pieces. Like I want to try to make good pieces. So I did this, it's a nice finishing edge. It makes it look a whole lot more professional. And once you've done that, it's time to sew it into a, a, a pant form and finishing it off the same way, which is a little bit of a struggle. You start doing it from the crotch area to the end, which is kind of fiddly and I can't lie a bit annoying to do, but I did it and I do like the result. I thought this whole process would have taken me a lot longer, uh, but it didn't, so I could basically finish sewing the entire pants together this the same day, which I did not expect it, uh, basically because I've been very much procrastinating continuously throughout the day. I just, yeah, it's a miracle. 
it's not a miracle. It's a very simple pattern. But basically, all that was left to do after this was find a piece of elastic, which I rummaged through my, my supplies and I did find it. And then measure it to a comfortable width size around my waist. And then iron the top part of the pants into the shape, sew it along, leaving a gap of 10 centimeters in, through which you pull the elastic through with the safety pin. I use the safety pin to get the elastic through. Sew the, the elastic together and then sew those that, that gap close. And then I choose on four places like the front, the back and the sides to keep the elastic in place. And after you've done that, all you need to do is fold the bottom and sew that in place. Which I did. I did cut an extra four centimeters to the bands. It didn't say that to do that, but I did do that because I was worried it was going to be too short. It's now like full length. I think next time I will use just the pattern and then see how a cropped version will look and perhaps also choose to size down. Like, I like the pants. I think the pants are great, but I think it might also have worked with a smaller size. I am very happy with it. Um, it took me quite a while to film the end result because one, I don't know, and two, I feel very awkward because I finished it before the weekend and thought I will film it outside, but I've got that in the weekend and with the nice weather that we have right now, people are going to be outside. And um, I am yet to finish the my little area to actually create <sighs> shade, so I'm probably filming it inside, which you would probably see about now. But yeah, I am very happy with the pants. I think they look very nice. Uh, I have worn them a couple of times already. They are super comfortable, which is basically the whole goal. I, I, I refuse to make clothes now that are going to be uncomfortable in any sort of way. That. So, that, that's the goal. So yeah, um, that's this week, I made this pants. If you like this video, please leave a like and a comment and subscribe, only if you want to, of course. I'm not gonna force you to do anything. But anyway, I will be back with another sewing video next week, so I will see you then. Bye!